Hi everyone, it's Ian here on the west coast of Ireland and today we're filming uh, our friend Alan's solar toilet. So Alan, um, tell us about your solar toilet. Well, this is the solar toilet. It's a separate toilet, that's the make, and it's uh, the Villa model, which um, is just running off um, 12 volt power uh, from a battery for the fan. Everything else uh, doesn't. It doesn't need power for anything else. Uh, and this model. So it's, tw it's got a twelve volt um, power supply. Power supply from yeah. s from solar. Power. From solar. Yeah. And this particular model is designed so you don't need a deep cycle battery. You can use it with deep cycle batteries, but this model will run say off a normal car like a car battery like a car off battery. A, yeah. so you can actually run your toilet from a car battery yes that's amazing yeah and you could and you can recharge the battery obviously with solar or wind or yeah. and one battery on a that's fully charged will keep this running for a fortnight okay and um, what, what what's that what's that there then that's the um, exit that is the vent pipe where any smell is taken away from the toilet. Bas I'll show you the basic mechanism. So is there is there a, like a, um, a fan on there? There is a fan which is, I'll just lift this up. Oh well yeah. There's a fan up here and at the back, I've got it disconnected at the moment so you can see yeah. from the, um, you've got the lead here with a plus and minus crocodile clip Okay. Yeah. Comes with two leads. You can either plug that into your mains, um, running off solar or wind, and or you can connect directly to a battery. Right. So yeah. they give you the option of doing either or. Um, it's called separate because basically you've got uh, liquid going in one part and you've got solids in another. I'll show you how it looks again with the lid up. So solids at the back, obviously and uh, liquid in the front. The um, only downside is they don't recommend for blokes standing right. when using this in order to uh, stop any Splash liquid back. Yeah, <laughs> going in to the uh, solids bucket. Oh, right. Because yeah, that's, that's where the main smell comes from. If you get the liquid and the solid together, yeah. you will generate smell. Keeping them separate so it's, the solids are in there with paper, right. so basically when you sit down, yeah. the, the oh, little okay. shutter goes across right. with yeah. the mechanism. Oh, that's clever. Quite a, a good mechanism, and every time that mechanism yeah. goes across, the bucket that's underneath yeah. rotates slightly. So these would be brilliant for um, off-grid people that... or. Even like um, an escape dugout bunker or something like oh, that. Oh, definitely. Could, could have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or, you know, like if if you're in a desert somewhere where there's no water or... Yeah. You know, yeah, you could, completely. Yeah. I mean, um, if you want, you can... In the liquid side, where the pee goes, that goes out and you can put it into a direct soak away or you can store it. Right, you can so you can compost your... Yeah, yeah. You can, they do a special container that shows you when that's full. You connect a hose pipe up to it and you use it on the garden as a fertiliser. Right. Or you can just put it straight into a soak away yeah. because it's classed as grey water, not black water. It looks like porcelain, but what's it made of? It's made of plastic. It's all plastic. It's type 5, five polypropylene plastic. Oh. Um, it's pretty solid. You know, yeah, it looks it's solid. Anchored, screwed down underneath and screwed at the back. So it really is very rigid. Yeah, that's right. It's very easy to set up. As I say, that's ducted through there and going outside. <clears throat> You'd normally, I've got it set up a bit different to how they recommend because it's going out under there and then outside. But you can have it piped straight outside. Yeah. Uh, if you, I guess if you were using it in a, in a very enclosed space, like say you said a bunker or something, you'd need some kind of filter to absorb that smell like a charcoal filter or something. Right, yeah. But this just blows it straight outside. Yeah. Um, and and what would, say, how much would something like this cost? Well, 
this I bought this in from the United Kingdom uh, from a shop um, and it was six hundred and fifty pounds. Wow, so that's not so cheap. it's a serious investment. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to be off grid with it, we, and because um, you know the processing of black water, uh, once you know sewerage from a yeah. it's very energy intensive. Whereas this, you've got a bucket where the solids go in. Yeah. All you have to do, you can do. They supply you with a. These are cocoa. This is cocoa shell, which absorbs moisture and. Smells, right. but you don't get any smell. You can put yeah, I can't in. smell a thing. No. You can, you, and and then they recommend at least every three weeks because the bags that it comes with are biodegradable, and after three weeks those bags will start breaking down. Comes with three of these buckets and two lids, and basically you just come in, put the lid on like this, lift it out. Put that outside for about three weeks and then uh, whip the lid off, chuck it on the compost heap and within six months it's completely in there. And you can grow your veggies from your own. Yeah, and you can Incredible. Do, yeah. yeah, so you can use that after six months, you could put that in the garden without fear of any contamination or any health issues. And then what, then all you do, just take the, you get your fresh bucket, Put it straight in, and then down, and that's it. Fantastic. Two minute job. Um, for people who are, who you can use a little bit of water if you want, just to flush away down there, down the liquid where the urine goes. Um, but you don't have to. We basically don't have an issue with any smells coming out of this. Yeah. We've been using it now for about three months. Um, and it's been fantastic. Yeah, because it's a, it's a lovely bathroom and, you know, jacuzzi bath and, like, yeah. know, a, a solar-powered toilet. Yeah. So, okay, Alan, thanks for showing us your solar-powered toilet. And um, hopefully, um, if you have a comment, um, leave, a <clears throat> leave a comment. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much. See you from the west coast of Ireland with my friend Alan and his solar loo. Bye. Bye.